Well, right now the CCP has got their, um, they've got their influence spreading across Africa. And uh, somebody told me this, or I, was, I read this last week. I, was, I almost fell off my chair. There's 16 ports in Africa, 16. The CCP controls 14 of them. How did this happen? John, you look at the Belt and Road Initiative. You mentioned a crucial problem here, right? It's not only in Africa. In, in Almost in all of the participating countries in the Belt and Road Initiative, their ports, their harbors, and even the bases near their crucial military locations were actually controlled or primarily owned by the Chinese Communist Party. And what's even worse, it's not just those, you know, strategic location of these countries. CCP has also managed to control the gas supplies in the Middle East to Europe. And this is where, you know, CCP, you know, uh, CCP position itself when they build up and when they develop the Belt and Road Initiative. You look at all of the, the military bases, you look at the bio labs that the CCP had been trying to develop and expand through through BRI project and, and and through Middle East. You found it you found it you know um, astonish you found it astonishing to see you know how how fast the CCP expanded itself through these projects. And so Belt and Road Initiative, it's not an economic platform. It's an intelligence platform. It's a military platform. It's a military tool for the CCP to expand its power. And today, right, it is very fair to say that the United States almost lost its control about CCP's expansion in the Middle East. And that's where we must see and we must sanction about, we must sanction of any further expansions and related personnel in the Chinese Communist Party.